Maybe you remember the story of Jacob and Esau in the Old Testament. They were twin brothers and Esau was the older of the two. Naturally, the birthright and inheritance would pass over to the older brother, Esau. However, Jacob was crafty and tricked his brother out of his inheritance. He tricked their father into giving his blessing to him rather than his brother Esau. As you can imagine, this caused a lot of bad blood between the brothers, to the point that Jacob ran away. Many years later, he decided to return, yet he was fearful of how Esau would respond. Jacob devised a plan to send his entire company ahead of him to meet his brother before he came along. So Jacob's journey to obtain his true identity was long and arduous. He did a lot of deceptive things in his life, and the fact that his name meant deceiver didn't help. He lived up to that name for many years, even though he was living under the pretense of being a follower of God. So Jacob has sent his entire company and family ahead of him. At this point, God knew it was time and sent an angel to wrestle with Jacob throughout the entire night. This literal wrestling match was symbolic of Jacob's lifelong struggle to understand his own soul and his calling in life. And this is where we pick up in Genesis chapter 32. When the man, or angel, saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, Let me go, for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with men and have prevailed. Of all things, the blessing God gave Jacob was a new name a name that represented his new identity and new destiny. From that time on, Jacob was free to obey God in a whole new capacity. This is how we should feel as well. When we fully give everything to God, He will bless us. He will give us a new identity and a new destiny. Just like it says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Have you let go of your old identity yet? Are you ready to live free in your new identity as a child of God? Let him give you a new name.